In the end, it always comes down to like, there's someone sitting in front of a, a CAD CAM system and they have whatever sort of tool path uh, mechanism they have to remove material. And now there's a machine that has some uh, interesting new way of doing something. Well, the CAM system doesn't respond to that. We, in the middle, have to respond. ICAM started in 1971, hiring a few people to provide programming services for five-axis machines for local manufacturers that had the machinery but didn't have the, the skills or the ability to program them. We evolved from there by adding uh, post-processing development tools. We did custom post-processors. We got into uh, plotting and simulation. And, uh, and now we've evolved to a point where we've, we've included um, all of these products into one optimized contiguous flow, adaptive post-processing. Its most important thing is that it saves the NC programmer in front of the, uh, the scan system. It saves him time. It takes away some tedium that involves positioning the tool around the part, moving the tool around on the machine. You can waste a lot of time doing that in the CAM world. And automating that is an interesting problem, very difficult problem to solve, and one that I think we're doing a really good job of. Really what we've been trying to do is trying to help customers uh, machine their parts and what used to take them uh, weeks of programming and days of programming, we're trying to reduce that to hours or sometimes minutes. We have our direct sales team, it mainly works out of our head office here in Montreal, but we also have established worldwide dealers that are able to implement the whole iCAM solution, train customers, and those represent uh, like an extension of iCAM really because they are offering the same type of expertise worldwide. The main goal of the marketing department is to communicate our products and services to the market. Um, to let them know the benefits of our software and why they should be using it. We have been using traditional marketing approaches, magazine advertisement, roadshows, um, but more and more we're using online media. So we're using LinkedIn, we're using YouTube, we're going to use comparison videos, we're, gonna, we're also going to show uh, real life case studies where manufacturers are actually saving time and money when implementing these solutions.